And welcome back, folks, to yet another exciting episode of Fallout 3. We are still in Fort Independence, the uh, outpost that the outcasts took over. Of course, they started hating us the moment we aligned with the Bro Brotherhood of Steel. You know, the one loyal to lions. And we're kind of making them suffer for it, I guess. By looting them and killing any that get in our way. Not the nicest thing to do, but really, I didn't start this. Terminal access password. Well, that sounds useful. I mean, I can really use power armor, I think. It's good reason to take it with us. Door terminal, then. Uh, identify verification sure okay begin decontamination no antibacterial spray left activate the door okay not quite sure what's down there but probably more of the outcasts oh that closed itself quickly hope we can get back out actually let's activate the door Again, and then get inside properly. Right. Oh, this, this goes deep. Because we might as well drop down some mines, why not? Just in case any outcasts come by. Never know. But it takes someone out, I think. So, good guess, I suppose. Hmm. I'm not sure what to expect down here. I mean, I, I thought Kazdin was the boss, but maybe they have another leader down here. Oh, I think there's somebody sitting at the desk there. Yep, and he has a minigun from the looks of it. Look, look at that ammo backpack. Here, why don't you take a mine? Ooh, I'm here! Come on. That actually works! Sort of. It's roundabout, but it does work, I have to admit. Oh. I don't have any more contacts. Right. I still haven't found, um, Morgan. I thought there was a person called Morgan around here, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Right now, I want to loot without attracting too much attention. So, let's be a wee bit careful. Oh, what did I... Kick a bro... Oh. Ah, a conductor, okay. Why was this guy sitting in front of a broken keyboard and broken terminal? Makes no sense to me, but, well, doesn't matter. Ah. More lootable objects. Let's check them out. Nothing great, but, you know, usual stuff. I'm mostly here for the powered armor and heavy weaponry they might have. But if there's stuff for crafting items, I'll take it, of course. Right. So much for this level. Guess we can move on. Ah. Yeah. Looks like that guy got blown apart, yes. So these mines really are very powerful, but just getting them into a proper position is kind of difficult, I think. Oh, well. Yeah, this guy had a super sledge. I mean, I guess uh, when, as long as we are hidden, we can use stealth and to place the mines and then lure them into into the explosive range. Sure, but it seems a bit difficult sometimes. Well, I'll just leave those here. Let's go the other way first. Uh huh. Oh, 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 oh. He's probably gonna come this way now. He did. 
Is he dead? Yes, he is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another guy. Ah, oh, crud. Right, any more coming? If yes, then uh, we will be ready. That looks like they aren't coming. I'm gonna leave this one here just in case. And this one too. Whoa. I think that one mine killed more than one guy actually. Yeah, two at least. Man, these bottle cap mines are amazing. I need to just, you know, use them better and more often. These are incredibly powerful. Right. Well, time to loot then. <laughs> Don't even know why I'm picking up this crap. Who cares about that? Right. Looks like the outcasts are suffering uh, a lot of casualties right now. A storage key. Okay, good. This will probably come in handy. Major casualties. I'm gonna pick those up now just uh, because I don't want them to explode while I'm walking around here. So that's another one with a missile launcher. Look at this, I'm already overburdened again. This is just insane. Don't care about this super sledge. I can't believe how difficult it is to, to loot a place like this. Wouldn't think it would be, but it just really is because everything you pick up is so heavy. They're heavy weapons, they're heavy armor. Everything they carry basically weighs way too much. Don't need that. I'll eat this. Don't need that. I need to. There has to be a way to get out of here. Well, I don't really need the combat armor either. So let's just leave that behind. I think. Oh. I think there's a turret down there. Where is it? I can hear it, but I can't see it. I don't, don't know where to go to to avoid it shooting at us. No, it's not there. Well, we do have the turret control here, so let's just deactivate it then. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Let's try this again. Oh, come on. Starship, that has to be... no. Thankful. Yes, thankfully. That's the right word. Okay, reconfigure. And... No, it's not shooting at anybody. So let's just turn it off. Deactivating. There we go. Much better. We'll just have to look around a little bit. Hopefully there aren't any more enemies around. That would be a problem. I don't have any more contacts, so I think we can safely look around. Check out the area down here. Right, so this is where we blew them up, and there's like another room here. Ooh. Okay, that's a lot of computers. Research terminal. Missile launcher. Hmm. JJ Brownie. After several attempts to modify the missile launcher to increase its accuracy, I conclude that it cannot be done. I've broken the third one. Huh. Technically, the missile launcher I recently worked on is not broken. It just does not function properly. I've since locked it up in weapon storage. We might want to get our hands on that. Perhaps. What about this one? Minigun. Such old technology, practice, 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 blah, blah, blah. Huh. 
Hail of bullets, of course. Sheer size, coupled with a straight mark sound, is enough to send anyone in its path running for cover. It's a great weapon for suppressing fire, letting others flank the unsuspecting enemy. Okay. Just some basic notes about weapons from the looks of it. Plasma rifle, this is interesting. Um, uses a microfusion cell, okay. Toroid of plasma. I don't know what a toroid is, probably something like a torrent. Um, and then ejected down a superconductor barrel, okay. Further research needs to be done. How the plasma retains its density while traveling. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because um, a lot of this technology that we are using today, well, we don't understand where it came from and how it works. It's interesting. Oh, laser rifle pistol analysis. Uh, small production run of the prototype weapons developed by the US military. Most of these weapons were recovered. Live fire groups of active duty personnel. Critical components. Well, of course, microfusion cells are involved, yes. Uh, carbon fiber housing. Okay. Uh -huh. Precision cut lenses, focus optic energy. Lenses are prone to damage and can grossly affect precision. Yeah. Great deal of skill to fabricate. Okay. I guess. I mean, a lot of these high-tech weapons seem to break rather quickly, so that makes sense. Field operation. 20 bolts from a pistol and 12 shots from a rifle model. Recoil is negligible. Okay, less marksmanship ability required. Maintenance, easily opened. Uh, the, the, the purified water and the clean cloth can be used. Can also overheat after a period of intense use. That had never happened to us, I guess. Okay, interesting little tidbits of info, but nothing that amazing, really. What are we doing it for weight? Well, I think I can take some more scrap metal. Fission batteries. No way I can carry those. Aha! Woo! Weapon storage! Look at that! Oh, mini nukes. Ammo. A minigun. And the missile launcher. This must be the the missile launcher he was talking about in his in his uh, description there. Look at the values. It weighs less. And it deals more damage even though its condition is worse. But apparently it isn't as good as at targeting. So it's basically, well, it's called a miss launcher because it misses a lot, I guess. Still, that's a much more powerful missile launcher than we had before. Alright. Ah, looting will be difficult. Alien power cells, did you see that? Yeah. We already found some of those. This is incredible. We have yet to find any alien weaponry though. Mm. Intriguing. Can I actually take any of that? I'll loot as much as I can now. And then off screen probably I'll try to loot the rest. But for now I think we'll just keep going. Yeah. Oh, come on. Seriously? Can't even open an easy lock anymore. And more fission batteries. No way I can carry all of those. What about the minigun? Do I have one? Yeah, I do. Except this one is in perfect condition. Well, we're gonna take the perfect one then. Leave this one here for later. I'll, I'll, I'll take it with me later, including the fission batteries, I think. Right, so what's in here then? Uh -huh. Some sort of medical facility from the looks of it. Hmm, we can never hope to loot all this. Not now. I'll have to come back for all this junk. 
it's nothing all that valuable. I guess we can uh, keep looking. In fact, why don't we equip the miss launcher? If we come across any more enemies, we can test it out on them. Would be curious. Let's keep moving for now. I'll come back to these two rooms later on, but it seems that the path is still going on in this direction. Although, this seems to be the exit. Where the hell are we? Hmm, huh, there's a computer here. Turret control. Alright, let's hack it. Forbidden is completely wrong. I don't know. Let's try it again. And again. We'll be done in just a second, I'm sure. Oh, come on. Seriously? I can't hack this. Okay, let's 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 act to actually try to figure this out. Customers. Cust Cust Um oh, This would work. And it's the right one. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Oh. Deactivate it. I think we're under the bridge next to Fort Independence, actually. Do we have a contact nearby? There's another outcast over there. Who is that? Ah, that is Morgan. Whoa. Okay. I think it kind of launches the missiles like uh, the fat boy would. You know, it just drops them out. It doesn't fire them properly in a straight line. Look out! And then they explode like a grenade. Look, look how it's firing them. It just tosses them out. But wow, is it effective. It's like a grenade launcher more than a missile launcher at this point. And it looks like that's Morrigan. Morgan. Yeah. So much for her. Alright. Let's try and loot her. And I think we're pretty much done with Fort Independence. Yeah. And I'm also quite overburdened. So, folks, what am I gonna do? Well, we did read about the Fairfax ruins. That the... Uh, the outcasts were investigating, and I think those ruins are right over there, to the southeast. We should probably investigate them. I don't think we were in, we ever went in there before, but we'll do that in the next episode. So we'll end this episode here. I'll bring stuff back to Megaton and loot the rest of the bunker down there. In return, we'll try to investigate the Fairfax ruins. See you then, folks. Bye!